Hmm. Guess what? I'll have to talk to you. Find a different avenue of dealing because obviously that's not working. Um, no, what's working is face to face relationships is what's working. Mm -hmm. And that's and that just takes time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of, one of the one of the, the people that works or provides services for one of the companies that I work with does what is called an IPA tracker. And IPA stands for income producing activity. <coughs> and it's actually it's a calendar, but it has places in it where you can mark how many times you made the call, what you asked, and it, I mean, it's, it's kind of a cryptograph, but you can actually look at it if, you, if it has a, you know, if your circle has a slash through it, you made the call. If your circle has a slash and an X, um, they said no. You know, there's... Who's that with? Who, who is that? It's called, it's pr Dynamic Productions. Oh, okay. You know what? In fact, I need what's, what's the lady of from Fort Collins? Um, starts with an mm -hmm. A. No, that's Adrian. Adrian. Oh, she produces something. Okay. Zobel. Adrian Zobel. Zobel. Is that she produces Adrian Zobel? Zobel. Yeah. Zobel. She produces She's something amazing. like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, her, um, what does she call it? Mark calendar. Uh, oh. calendar or? Schmooze calendar? Yeah, yeah, that Schmooze. is. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. who, who, is she yeah. part of the chamber here? No. Mm -hmm. She's no. been a speaker at one of our networks. Who, Okay. She was and at the this, this lady in October. Yeah. <coughs> this lady it was in October. It was. I went to an event the other night. It was. But, um, June, I think. And several of the direct oh, sales companies. She have she has been to several of them. Oh, she's really yeah. in your calendar. Well, hey her Pam. Name. Wow. Pam. This lady. Hmm? Why don't you just bring she over the cookies and put out your. I got her card when I was at the. Oh, her, I've only been her, to one the one company. So I don't know what month. She's oh, been to several. Snaps. She's coming to the, this one this month. Is she? Okay. Uh, next week. Yeah. Um, I get an email from the reality her. Is phone yeah. calls and direct connections are income producing activities. That's it. And those are the two things you're going for. So you can go for the no. I heard oh, somebody that's, say when, well, you when you're getting no. Maybe about telemarketers that call up to your home. Yeah. Because these 10 yeah. no's I still are get a few of those, not more like yeah. 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 That's, yeah. That's, yeah. But, um, that's why what you do they, is you, you, know, you determine me, how many you know, calls they it takes wanted. to set how many appointments and how many appointments. Say, how many thank you for calling. I'm not interested this time. You know, you I appreciate you taking your time. Of, Bye. And I don't give them a chance to do it anymore. They'll want you to do a survey. They'll ask all those questions. And in my they follow up with 100 questions. Of course, you're going to get a a more favorable reaction when you go and meet with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. But the reality is it takes a lot more time and you're going to get a hold of a lot fewer people. So that's why I would suggest, you know, like in insurance especially, because I've, I've been there, um, doing both, you know. And nobody likes to be on the phone. Most people don't. I mean, but it's, you know, but if you can get also, I mean, ways of, if, you know, like what you're doing right now, networking. You know, talking to your customers that you have already, calling them up and seeing how they're doing and kind of building a relationship with them, buying them a cup of coffee, getting some referrals, you know, that sort of thing. That's really great, too, because your warm leads are going to, uh, you're going to get a lot more out of that than you are about the cold, you know, because cold calls. And they may, you know, you can develop a relationship with anyone. And they may not need your product or service, <coughs> but chances are they're going to have someone else at some point. So then it just becomes this A to the Z as well. Yeah. We're finding in the insurance business that email is working better than phone. Really? Yeah, people, yeah. Take, mm -hmm. people take time a certain parts of the day, whether they return their emails in the morning or the evenings, they'll sit down at the computer and return emails faster than they will get on the phone. They'll say, oh, Joe's probably eating dinner right now. I can't get a hold of him. Or, you know, I know he had an evening appointment, but emails, they will. They'll, they'll send the emails back to you a lot better. I think that comes back around to what you were saying about from the very beginning is that people are afraid of the phone and don't want to talk on the phone. And it just, just boggles my mind that people spend as much time as they do texting, but it's twice as fast. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Like they'll sit there over and over and over like this. Yeah. It's like, I don't get that. Hey, well, you can talk twice as fast. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so emails, more I mean, personal. An I internal totally thing, it has nothing to do with sales, but as an internal thing, I had a problem 
with the, my laptop at work, and it just so happens I had the through channel the, the fix it person. And I had their email and I had their phone number, and I just prefer an instance like that to talk rather than mm -hmm. something like this because mm -hmm. you can leave things out. Or mm -hmm. I called and left a message, and about an hour. 45 minutes later, I called again, and then voice going off, but I didn't leave another one. About another half an hour, I called, went to voicemail, didn't leave one. About another hour, I left the voicemail this time. And then about 15 minutes later, I shot out an email, and I got a response back in like five minutes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Like they're purposely avoiding talking to me, even but they love, they just love to re respond like, hey, funny. Even yeah. if they paid for a service, I have clients who would rather confirm their appointments on email then return my phone call. It drives me nuts. Yeah, see, I, I, I prefer a phone because I can have a phone with me while I'm doing whatever else I'm treating. I have, I have a customer who that's I, all, I, I, I've set up myself. I have not talked to her on the phone since, for months. We just do email back and forth. Do you want to do this? Yeah, okay. And here's your appointment. Okay, thank you. Da -da 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 -da. Back and forth. It's recording. My wife will prefer to do everything via email. <laughs> In fact, she tells her clients that it's easier to get a hold of her via email mm -hmm. rather than the phone because she's at her computer, she's working all day anyway. The phone is actually a distraction from her having mm -hmm. to leave the, the computer that she's working doing the work at. Oh, yeah, yeah. and I think so yeah. that yeah. pops up, it's right there, she can just have an answer to it and get back on with the I haven't had a lot of experience <laughs> using the email because honestly I know I get loads and loads of spam and so my thoughts are you know it's just another email are they going to do anything you know but I mean if it works I mean are you when you email are you emailing people that like cold or people that you've actually already talked to already talked to okay so now that's different. get information from them so we can do their quote people don't have time to meet with you either they want to give you all their information, you do their quote, you send it back to them. They exactly. say, I need to change this or change that, or it looks perfect, let's meet, I'll sign, let's start. You know, so it, mm, okay. and it, yeah. Even in, in service industries such as in window treatments, it, the chances of having the client there for any more than selecting color is becoming less and less likely. Um, and. I, I think we're all just, we're trying, everyone out there is trying to do so many different jobs to survive or something, I don't know, because hmm. I would say probably 60% of the installs I've done in the last three months, the client was there to select a color. Everything else was done by the consultant hmm. without the client being there. Okay. And of course the installs, the mother's there, the grandmother's there, someone's <laughs> other than the client. So it's, it's very bizarre. Our, our experience in the chamber, and I would think any business, you know, if you know your clients fairly well, you kind of have a feel for who is best to communicate via email, mm -hmm. who doesn't really do yeah. email very much, and yeah. so you use phone or something else. The tree guys right? don't communicate by email. They don't? <laughs> uh -uh. Okay. They communicate across the block. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if they're neighbors, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you learn all kinds of things about businesses in Johnstown and Millie Kent when you do Small business. communities, especially. <laughs> well, going back to objections, um, what I would suggest for you guys, too, is to just list, um, list your main benefits of working with you guys, your main benefits of your service or product you provide. List those main benefits, and you work that in to when you're getting on the appointment. You know, like, they're going to say, you're going to get somebody who says, well, and I mean, it kind of depends on which industry we're talking to, but, oh, I have XYZ company, or I have XYZ construction, and I, they're, they're great, and I love them. And you want to, you know, a lot of times that's a 